Hello Luke Michael Howard, clinical hypnotist and owner of Luke Gnosis Hypnosis here with a lovely experiment we're going to do today. In a moment the lovely Hypnopixie will be joining me and we're going to be using a thing called a voltmeter. You're going to see it in a minute, just use your imaginations right now. And what a voltmeter is, oftentimes mechanics will use it to measure voltage in cars or electricians in, in certain uh, electrical products. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to electrocute the hypnopixie today, but I'm a big believer in, in imperial results with people to know kind of what's going on. Now what we're going to do today is, is going to kind of let me know the thinking of what's going on in Mel's head. Uh, not the actual thought, but if she's uh, positive or negative, and what I mean by that is if she has a PR or not. PR stands for psychological reversal, it comes from thought field therapy, and what happens is you go see a change worker who could be great, but if you come in and they don't assess you correctly that you've got psychological reversal, they could do the best techniques in the world for you to stop smoking, for you to lose weight, to alleviate your PTSD, wet in the bed, whatever it may be, and deal with that issue. But if they don't deal with getting you out of the psychological reversal, which is the toxicity inside, whether that caused by environmental things like cigarettes, like drugs you're putting into your body, medication, alcohol, Febreze in the air uh, or environmental works that might be going on outside of your your apartment as it's going outside of my office right now. If those things aren't addressed before the real reason why you came in, the real reason you came in there, the change might not lock in and uh, be locked in place and changed because they did not do the psychological reversal. How do you know if someone's psychologically reversed? I'm going to show you right that now because we're going to use the voltmeter. So Hypnopix is going to come and join me right now. Come and take a seat as I grab this <coughs> lovely camera right now. Hey Hypnopixie, how are you? Doing good. Very good. <laughs> so here is the voltmeter I was talking about. Um, and we're going to set it up in a moment. You'll notice that there's a red probe and there is a black probe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this up right now. I'm going to put it on millev uh, m millivolts, I believe, yeah, MV. So now if I could get you just to grab hold of that, cue them up. Great, and then now, what I want you to do after you've queued it up to zero, what you'll notice is it will either be a minus or a plus. You see it's a minus zero one there, but it's basically neutral. That's as close as we're going to get. Now, when Mel's going to do the technique or the assessment in a moment, um, you're going to notice it's either after about 30 seconds of her touching these probes here. It sounds a bit rude, but you know what I mean. This is scientific. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's going to be a, a reading of plus or minus. I don't really care how much of a plus it is or how much of a minus it is, but after it stabilizes, it will kind of let me know where Mel is. Not what she's thinking, but the environment internally and uh, what kind of work we've got here today. So are you, are you ready, Mel? Okay, let's do this. Lovely. Okay, go ahead, please. So Mel's gonna to touch the black probe on her thumb very softly, and then the red probe on the back of her hand, ensuring that the wires are not crossed. Eliminate as much electronical products as round because that can impact it as well. I TV, um, videos, having them switched off, computers, trying to get keep those away from the environment. You'll notice that Mel is stabilizing now in around about the 30s. If you'll see that. I'll get a zoom in of that number. But after about 30 seconds right now. Yeah, she's hovering around about the minus, minus 10 to 20. That's all I need right now. So Mel, what I want you to do now is just put the probes down, if you would, for me. Okay. I'm going to switch off that beeping. And I'm going to get Mel to do something in a moment um, in order to help her get more psychological, to become unless... I'm getting my words mixed up here. To get her out of being psychologically reversed here, um, you, again, to so remember, she was about minus, it stabilised about minus 11, minus 12, um, which is not huge, but it's still a minus. So if Mel was indeed a real client I was working with, I'd need to address that minus before we get onto anything else because I want this to be as successful as we can. And right now, I don't know what she's thinking, but I know there's some kind of toxicity that's going on in her mind and body that we need to alleviate before we can do some good quality change work together. So Mel, what I want you to do right now is if you hold this camera and just hold it on me, I'm going to get Mel to tap this area of her hand right here like so the karate point about 50 times that's all I'm going to ask her to do and then we're going to retest and see uh, where Mel stab stabilizes so now if I get you to go ahead and just uh, tap the uh, or hit that point about 50 times 
Very good. And you can think about whatever you want to think about right there. Okay. And what this helps to do... Yeah, so we're just going to hit that spot about 50 times. The karate point at the bottom of the hand to help pull Mel back into PR. Very good. So now we're going to retest. So I'm just going to set up the voltmeter here. Pull it on millivolts. Grab the two things, the two prongs. Make sure the wires are not crossed. Good. And now touch the, just the tip of your thumb. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Get the tip of your, yeah, we reset it. And now just get the tip of your thumb. We're about minus 15 before. Okay, we can let it stabilise for a little bit. So as you see, it's been about 30 seconds. Keep doing what you're doing, Mel. And Mel stabilised between about the 20s and the 30s, and then obviously drops right there as I say that. But you see it stabilises again in the 20s and the 30s, Whereas initially, she was minus 15. It's minus 15? Yeah, I think around, stabilize around like 15, 20-ish. Great, so you can see that it's stabilized there. Thank you. Mel, you can put those down now. And if I just hand this over to you. Yes. So you just see, by just by doing a little technique there, very, very simple, by tapping the um, karate point on Mel's hand, she's able to pull herself out of psychological reversal very, very quick. Does that pull her out of psychological reversal permanently all the time? Not necessarily, but it will reset her. Um, so if we were to do any change work there and then, it will be a lot more uh, applicable and it will be more, a lot more likely to stick in place. So I'll do something oftentimes a lot like that, and that little technique there oftentimes will make the difference, will be the difference, as I say in NLP, that makes a difference in uh, successful work, being successful and staying stuck with that new change, being the new automatic behaviour in spite of where the old behaviour was. Um, so hopefully you learned something from that today, uh, you got something from that imperial uh, understanding because a, a, a volt detector, a voltmeter doesn't lie, human beings can lie, we lie every day, big lies, small lies, no judgement, we just do, but the voltmeter doesn't care about your personality, it's just measuring the volts and the electricity inside, positive or negative. Um, so I've been Luke Michael Howard. Please like the video, share the video, comment on the video because it inspires me to make more of these videos for free. So keep putting out content out there. What inspires me is I hopefully I'm inspiring you. Inspire me, like it, share it, comment on it, and I'll continue to make these videos with great content. Always believe.